All right, I am absolutely furious and disgusted with the Democrats. Now, of course, it's no secret that I hate Democrats, but then again, everyone hates Democrats. Like, even the Democrats hate the Democrats. It's so painfully obvious at this point that this two-party system thing is a complete and total sham. Have you ever looked into the eyes of a career politician? They look like they've been drained of all substance, and the only personality trait they have left is the partisan spin factor. At this point, both political sides have essentially been narrowed down to, like, two people. First, there's one guy, dressed in red and covered in shit. I'm talking passed out at a frat party, drunk, uncontrollable diarrhea levels of shit. Then there's the other guy. He's dressed in blue, and he's covered in mold and rotting meat. Both these guys smell horrible. But the red shit guy is raising his nose at the other guy because he hates the color blue. And the rotting meat guy is sneering at the other guy because, well, he's disgusted by the color red. Both sides, both disgusting, but today, I'm looking at you, Democrats. That's right, I'm talking to the career Democrats, the liberal elites, right down to your average blue voter who voted for Obama twice because he's black, nice, and likes chili. All of you hypocrites, listen up. But first, I know I'll be getting comments from people in a very snobbish voice saying something like, <laughs> So it seems Hunter is pandering back to the conservatives because he's so desperate. <laughs> Grifter exposed. <gasps> Woo! It's time for my Pop-Tarts and Hentai! To which I would respond, buddy, I may have left the right, but I never said I was joining the left. Sorry if you read some fake news or misunderstood your favorite groiper Twitter account. Alright, I just wanted to get that out of the way, enough of that crap, because I am angry as hell, and the Democrats fully deserve my wrath, along with the wrath of the Almighty God. Now, of course, I always knew the Democrats were hypocritical cucks, but this latest blatant display of hypocrisy has managed to really piss me off. As you all know, Joe Biden is the Democrat who's been chosen to run against Trump. But Joe Biden has been accused by multiple women of making them uncomfortable by sniffing their hair and putting his hands on them. Although kind of pervy, it wasn't quite illegal. Although the newest accusation that Biden allegedly complimented the body of a 14-year-old girl may be falling into some Chris Hansen territory. As you all know, Biden has been hit with a new, far more serious allegation that he assaulted a former staffer known as Tara Reid in the 90s. And here is where Mr. Nail meets Coffin. Back in 2018, when Brett Kavanaugh was accused of assaulting Christine Blasey Ford, the entire Democratic demographic had a very different tune. Yeah, turns out that most of the Democrats who ran around LARPing as these Me Too Believe Women activists were actually just partisan hacks who didn't care about anything except furthering their own political agenda. This is where we meet the witch, Hillary Clinton's grandma, Nancy Pelosi. Someone was kind enough to make a mashup comparing the blaring differences between how Nancy Pelosi responded to the Biden accusation versus the Kavanaugh accusation. Take a look. On Justice Kavanaugh, when a very similar uh, allegation came out on him, uh, well, let, let me just say, uh, I, I respect your question, and I don't need a, a, a lecture or a speech. We're here to show our respect for all women who have a case, have it respected for due process, to investigate, to find the truth, not fear it. There is also due process. And uh, the fact that Joe Biden is Joe Biden. There is an allegation made against a person, an allegation, as I said before, that has lifetime impact on a person to be violated in that way by a person who wants a lifetime appointment to the Supreme Court. They're so afraid of the truth and they're so afraid of a woman, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, for the truth that she will tell. I am so proud. The happiest day for me this week was to support Joe Biden for President of the United States. Uh, I join a leader 
Schumer and calling for Judge Kavanaugh to withdraw his name from consideration. This is so fucking appalling, especially when you take into consideration the fact that Tara Reid's accusation is far more substantiated than Christine Blasey Ford's accusation ever was. Christine Blasey Ford failed to provide a single witness who could back her claims that Kavanaugh assaulted her at a high school party. She could not remember the date the party took place, whose house she was in, how she got there, or how she got home. And a key witness said she had no recollection of the party, much less the alleged incident. But Ford's unsubstantiated allegations were enough for Senate Democrats to smear Kavanaugh as an attempted in an effort to keep him off the high court. Unlike Ford, Reed has multiple corroborating witnesses to back her claims. Her next door neighbor says Reed told her about Biden's alleged assault in detail in 1995 or 1996. A colleague who worked with Reed says Reed told her at the time that she had been harassed by her former boss in Washington. Reed's brother confirmed she told him about the incident at the time. And a woman Reed says was her mother called into Larry King Live in August 1993, the month Reed left Biden's office asking for advice for a daughter who had just left Washington after working for a prominent senator and could not get through with her problems at all, and the only thing she could have done was go to the press, and she chose not to do it out of respect for him. So despite the obvious fact that Reed's case is far stronger than Christine Blasey Ford's, the Democrats have chosen to downplay, cover up, or flat out ignore the allegations being levied against Biden. It's not just Nancy Pelosi either. I spoke about this in my video last week where I talked about Alyssa Milano, the Hollywood hack and huge Me Too supporter who has now decided to not only endorse Biden, but completely contradict herself when you compare how she responded to the Kavanaugh accusations. But my friends, it gets even worse because it's also the mainstream media. That's right. Cuck News Network, CNN, has published virtually no coverage of Biden's accusation compared to the nearly 700 articles written on Christine Blasey Ford. Imagine being such a stupid loser, you spend your entire career railing against the president for being inappropriate, but then as soon as your preferred candidate is accused of being inappropriate, well, suddenly you just... Uh, you just, you turn a blind eye. Michelle Goldberg, opinion columnist with the New York Times, called Tara Reid's allegation a troll. When it was Christine Blasey Ford, well, she was heroic. As if the career politicians, the liberal elites, and the mainstream media isn't hypocritical enough for you, it also appears that your average Blue Voter is a raging hypocrite also. Recently, Chris Hayes with MSNBC was brave enough to actually talk about this allegation. How do you think the Democrats responded? They called for Chris Hayes to be fired, even resulting in hashtag fire Chris Hayes to trend on Twitter. Enough with Chris Hayes. Chris Hayes is trash, and if you want to defeat Trump, stop watching his show. Chris Hayes being unfair to Biden. Can we cancel Chris Hayes once and for all now? Fire Chris Hayes for journalistic malpractice! How many of these dimwits do you think were standing in the crowd pounding on the Supreme Court justice doors, wailing when Kavanaugh was sworn in? Do you actually think any of these people give a flying crap about believing women? No, because a creepy dementia man is still better than the bad orange man. Listen, this is certainly shocking, and I'm definitely mad about this, but I think we need to take this a step further. I think we need to stop being shocked by these things. This is a message for me also, because this shit does make me mad, and sometimes it's so blatant, it can be really shocking. But the outrage over this blatant hypocrisy needs to stop. I mean, are any of us really that surprised? Of course, Nancy Pelosi is a partisan hack. Like, what? <gasps> I can't believe this career politician who makes her money by being a Democrat is choosing sides. Alyssa Milano isn't being fair and transparent. I can't believe Alyssa Milano and all her profound wisdom from performing in... What was that show I never bothered to watch? Gem? Germ? Shimmer? I don't fucking know. CNN has a left-leaning slant? Oh my god! This is like a Christian mom acting shocked when she watches an R-rated movie and then there's swearing and nudity in it. Oh my goodness! Cursing? 
Well, this movie is only rated fucking R. Instead of pearl clutching that a bunch of career politicians are liars, let's actually use this as motivation to push for change for the end of this backwards two-party system that we're all forced into like a bunch of sheep to the slaughter. And of course, push for political change, but not just any political change. <coughs> Communism, <coughs> fascism, but push for political change that advocates for liberty for all. Our country was founded on the Enlightenment. This is what America was built on. Freedom, democracy, and reason. I love America, and I love its foundation, and that's what we should all be fighting to conserve. We need to also remember that politics isn't just about your team winning or owning the other side, although owning some retarded liberals can be very fun. Politics is much more than that, and it has to be more than that for all of us. It's about being honest with yourself and holding our public officials accountable. It's about advocating for a change that benefits everyone, and finally, it's about a call to action. To please stop taking any Hollywood liberal elite seriously ever again. So years later when we find out Hunter Biden is actually Ted Bundy reincarnated and all the Democrats decide to just ignore this because hey, Ted Bundy 2.0 is still better than Trump Jr's second term, let's not act shocked by this. Instead, use it as motivation to push for change and to push for liberty. God, I hope I'm not a prophet.